sad. I don't know why. Actually, I do know why. It's honestly, I was doing my makeup today and I was listening to music and then Mr. Harold Styles came on and I just got so deeply sad. <laughs> it was like a pain I haven't experienced in a long time. I just feel like I really miss a friend. Yeah, just like I miss him a lot. I hope that he's doing okay. I was just thinking about him a lot today, like heavily. He's just on my mind. Other than that, I don't know what's cooking in the universe these days. Maybe you astrology bitches can tell me. If it's something in the stars or if it's just cuddle season. But I'm not even kidding you. Every single one of the guys that I've ever talked to, and I mean ever, they have all hit me up in the span of two weeks. Ones that I haven't talked to in years, some that I thought hated me. <laughs> so many little creepy critters are crawling out of the woodworks. I don't, someone tell me what's up. Is that happening to you guys too? Is it just because it's cuddle season they just want to cuddle me? Because I am a good cuddler and they all knew that. Sorry. I'm gonna be cuddling with this bread. That's crazy. So yeah, welcome back to part two of my European adventures. If you guys haven't watched the first video, I suggest pausing this, opening up a new tab, and watch the first video, okay? It's just an experience. Whoa, my eyelashes are sticking together. <laughs> Oh my god, that's like the scariest shit ever. Oh my god. I was always that bitch in middle school that could do just like the most stomach churning facial expressions. And like all those girlies used to be like, oh, I can do it too. And I'm like, no. <laughs> like, <laughs> I'm built different. What was I saying? Right. Pause this video, go watch the island video. It's a hoot and a holler. Come back to this one, or I guess it doesn't really matter. They're not really connected. So yeah, buckle up. This is where we go to Amsterdam and damn. So sit back, relax, get a snack, an edible snack or a snack. Just hit up your situation ship and invite them over. Bring a snack and enjoy. But first off, what's that? What's that noise? Oh, I think it's just my tummy rumbling. I'm a little hungry. Be right back. All right, Tube Nation, today's sponsor is Cook Unity. And I am so excited to talk about Cook Unity today because you know what? I am so freaking hungry right now, but I don't have the time. I don't have the time to chef it up. I need something quick. I need something quick. I need something easy, okay? I don't want to get out my pots, my pans, my utensils. I just want to pop something in the microwave and I think I know the solution. And that is Cook Unity, baby. Look at all of these beautiful prepackaged meals that I have in my fridge. And I bet you're wondering, what is Cook Unity, Sarah? Let me tell you. Cook Unity is the first chef to consumer platform delivering freshly prepared pre-selected meals right to your door weekly that's right i said weekly with cook unity you can select from 350 chef created meals each week using over seven different dietary preference filters and we're talking about chefs who are food network alums like james beard award winners and acclaimed restauranters restauranteurs i don't know how to say that word meals are delivered fully cooked so all you have to do is heat them up and you're ready to eat Eat, baby. And one thing that I love about Cook Unity is the chefs cook meals with real ingredients, nothing artificial, humanly raised meat and organic ingredients when possible. The meals are chilled and sent fresh, not frozen, so they're ready to heat and eat when you are. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you my three favorite meals that I love munching on these days. This one is called the plant-based masaman curry. I don't know if I'm saying that correct, but this is my queen and Anne, oh my God, we love Anne in this house. She really knows how to make a mean curry. And I just really wanna meet this queen. I love Anne, let's go Anne, let's go Anne. Um, this is me every single, okay, yes, I love Anne. Um, this one is my second favorite. This is the Parisian steak kebab. And this one is whipped up by Chef Ludo. Not Luda, not Ludacris, Ludo. And oh my gosh, this kebab is kebangin'. <laughs> I'm not kidding, I look forward to eating this, and tonight I was like, wait, should I eat this tonight? But then I'm like, no. I had this last night. Should I actually? No. I had it last night. I think what I'm gonna have tonight is my all-time fave. I haven't had this in like three days, and my mouth is salivating for it. 
And my boy Andreas, he hooked it up for us with this meal. This is the turkey and poblano tacos. There's Andreas, my king. Honestly, kind of have a crush on him. Why is he kind of? No, <laughs> but he, he is. This one is super easy. All I do is just peel back the little packages. There's my little ingredients. Just take that plastic off, you know the drill. Take out my little tortillas, there's four of them. And then I put my turkey in a bowl. Then I get out my guacamole that they provided and my sour cream. And then I put the turkey in the bowl. Just like that, I put it in the microwave. And guess what we're doing? We're putting two minutes on the clock and we are gonna have some fun while we're waiting. Let's do the robot, I guess. Oh, now I'm switching it up. Okay, let's put our tortillas down in the plate. I'm a hungry girly, so I'm putting four down. My belly is rumbling. Once the turkey's done cooking, I put it on the tortillas. I put the sour cream on the turkey. And look at this beautiful creation. Honestly, I love how fast that took. It didn't take me any time at all. It is so convenient, especially when I'm on the go, especially when I have a busy day. And I want something really good, really quick. And oh my gosh, the tacos were banging. Shout out to Andreas. He's my favorite. And yes, I have a crush on you. And the subscription is super flexible. You can choose from four to 16 meals a week and the meal plans are flexible and commitment free, which means you can skip deliveries, pause or cancel any time. So go ahead and go to cookunity.com slash Basca50 or click the link in the description below and use my code Basca50 to get 50% off of your first order of Cook Unity meals to try them out for yourself. And I would take advantage of that because these meals are awesome. Thank you so much, Cook unity for sponsoring today's video and let's get into it yummy 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 in my tummy tube nation where the heck do i begin well after a glorious adventure in dublin with caitlin's entire irish family we land into amsterdam by ourselves without her irish family and at this point we are so mentally exhausted mentally ill <coughs> Um, we just endured so much on this trip to Dublin. So the first day we got to Amsterdam, we just wanted to chill and we wanted to sleep a little bit because we didn't really sleep the night before. Since I've been to Amsterdam before years ago, I was like, don't worry, Caitlin, I'll figure out where we should stay. I know where all the good areas are. I don't. I went in like 2017 and I was like blackout drunk the entire time with like a group of 10 people. I literally don't remember much of it. In my head, I was like, I've been here before, Caitlin. I got this. Boop, 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 boop. We're staying here. It's in the hub of Amsterdam. It's where all the places are, which is true. The location was correct. You know what I'm saying? It was like right in the middle of everything, walking distance to literally everything. The price was reasonable. It was right on the water, the canal. I thought I killed it. Basically the first day that we get there, we check into our hotel and we sleep pretty much all day. All right, we're not doing good. We need to recharge. We need to have a little dream. Maybe this time I'm dreaming about my Amsterdam man. What, what are they called? <laughs> Dutch, right. <laughs> so fire oh my god that song's so good the music video too oh anyway yeah dutch people maybe i'm gonna meet my cute little dutch man dutchman the flying dutchman oh he's so hot i would smash if that was physically possible anyway yeah maybe i'm i'm gonna meet my dutchman dutchman or dutch woman a dutch they who gives a shit Everything's on the table, bitch. I'm in Amsterdam. Okay, yeah, so I'm dreaming about the Flying Dutchman. And then we wake up the next morning and we're like, all right, 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 all right. Let's get up. My mom was a saint, <laughs> Barb. She sent me a bunch of things to do in Amsterdam like I didn't do my research. And like, I haven't been there before. 
No, but it was sweet. But anyway, she did make a good point and she sent me a link to a little boat tour, like one of those little canal tours through Amsterdam. Cause there's a giant canal that runs through it and there's so many tours and shit. Me and Caitlin book a canal tour, okay? It was the first one that we saw. And on this little tour, we got on there and they gave us these little headphones that you plug into the wall of the boat. It's just spewing history in your ears as you're riding along the canal. It's so cool to learn about the culture there. And here's a little montage, actually not a little one, it's pretty long, but it's so cute and fun. Look at how much fun we had on this tour.
sweet. Yeah, I think people watching on that boat tour was one of my favorite parts of it. And after that, we were like, let's go get some dinner. Let's get a nice high quality dinner for our first night in Amsterdam, well, second. It was our first full experience in Amsterdam. So we were like, let's go get some dinner and let's be fancy with it, okay? I want something. <clears throat> and oh my God, you guys, I had the best steak of all time. It was like butter. Yeah. I'm about to cry everywhere. Oh, My yeah. tears are gonna mix with like the moisture in the baked potato. <laughs> You're not gonna know what's what. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> so fucking badly just sitting in our twin beds <laughs> that are, uh, right next to each other. in our connected twin beds <laughs> that, that so might funny. as well be just a queen bed <laughs> but no alas we have a crack of separation <laughs> boundaries <laughs> Today was our off day, but you know what? We enjoyed a beautiful cruise. We I wish we could stayed. tell you why we're so <sighs> emotionally drained. You know what? Family trips. I don't know what to fucking tell you. Yeah, honestly, period. <laughs> like, honestly, when you go on a family trip, guess what? You get stress acne. Just like, imagine me and Sarah are on a flight and there's turbulence and the turbulence just stopped and you're trying to be like, oh wait, it's not gonna happen again. Okay, we're good. Yeah, exactly. Like the turbulence was just so crazy where we were holding on to each other being like, are we about to die? Yeah, do we need to pull down the mask or like, are we good? And now we're good and everything's good, but do like- we need to text everyone and be like, I love you. Gonna miss you. Text my ex's cousin and be like, hey, sorry, I can't meet up with you in Amsterdam after. After all. And texting your cousin and being like, I wish I would have made out with you. <laughs> <laughs> oh yes, how could I forget? Sarah almost made out with my cousin in Ireland. Guys, it, was, it was a dark day. And you're gonna wake up tomorrow and see that me and your cousin are dating on Facebook. <laughs> If I find out on Facebook tomorrow that you are in a relationship with my cousin after hanging out with him for three days in <laughs> and you were so and bored and not even making out, but you're so bored that instead of making out with him, you're just gonna skip to dating him. <laughs> yeah, <I'm fine. laughs> I mean, just to piss you off. It wouldn't even piss me off at this point. I would just be like, okay. <laughs> yeah, I would just be happy you're happy. But am I happy? I don't think so. I think you're just bored. <laughs> we are so bored. He's cool. Like, no, Connor rocks. But I'm just bored. Vibe is taking it slow. We're really pacing ourselves, guys. And like, I think that we're doing an amazing job. We really are. And I need everyone to acknowledge that. There's going to be nothing to acknowledge when like one of us is like face planted in the middle of like the Ibiza <laughs> highway. <laughs> There's a video of me drunkenly going into a prostitute's <laughs> Or I'm in the window tomorrow. <laughs> like, okay, you You're randomly get a job at the wrestling <laughs> district. Dude, I'm enough. thinking about it at this point. I just like, might. Why the fuck not? No, like, why the fuck not? Us going from, like, a really wholesome day of touring museums. Or even tonight, just going on, like, a boat cruise, that taking so it easy, peaceful. enjoying a steak and wine dinner together, to tomorrow being like, should I quit? everything that i've been working towards my whole life and just start over in amsterdam like probably i might start over in that window <laughs> that one right over like there. that one dude. dude once you see the windows you'll be like wait kind of a vibe no i know <laughs> i'm like going to get jealous because the girls are so hot, too. It's like, wait. Oh, that's why I'm like, I need to get a spray tan tonight. Yeah. I need to wash my hair. And now I'm everywhere. I'm so Julia. Yep. Ah, ah, ah. 
a normal morning tomorrow of museums, shopping, enjoying the daylight, and then and then sex. <laughs> We're gonna go like light to dark. Like He's gonna go heaven just, to hell. Yeah. <laughs> in 360. <laughs> when you're in the window, are you looking at me? <laughs> you turn around, and you're looking for me. I'm in the window. I'm everywhere. I'm so Caitlin. So now, <laughs> we're winding down. We put a little spring tan on. That's why I look so incredibly dark in the next footage you're about to see. I look insane. We're like, oh, what a great day. Everything's calm. We're like, oh my God, can't wait for tomorrow. And then Caitlin electrocutes me with this information. <laughs> you need to pop the music. <laughs> I just received the DM of all DMs. <laughs> I have your phone. <laughs> oh my god, oh my god, my stomach, my stomach. No fucking way. Oh, I have to DM him. Does he have me blocked? <laughs> His name is not Weekly Chris on Instagram. His name is not Weekly Chris. Oh, what is it? It's Chris Crawford. Oh my god. Weekly Chris. <laughs> Does he have you me blocked? <laughs> I can't even find him. <laughs> Wait, what? Wait, do I have Weekly Chris blocked? Wait, Chris Crawford is so <laughs> Crawford is so Crawford. Look at me right It's Colin. <laughs> stories out? No. Oh god, this is getting weird. Dude, now I look like a weirdo. <laughs> Can I message him? Are you an answer? <laughs> Dude, you have to respond to that girl and be like, how do we know this? <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> how does she know this? <laughs> oh my god. How do we know this? <laughs> And <laughs> how do you know this? Annie, are you okay? <laughs> Chris Crawford. This is so dumb. <laughs> Me going with it. Dude, we have to hang out with him in Amsterdam. If we finally get a picture with Chris Crawford. <laughs> it's a red light with his wife. <gasps> Wait, he's married? I think, or girlfriend. Something's She's scary. typing. <gasps> his TikTok. Go to his TikTok. I'm blocked on there too. <laughs> oh God, Taylor Swift is in London partying. There's so much going on. Is it wrong for me to type in weekly Chris on TikTok? Yes, Chris Cole. <laughs> he has ditched the weekly Chris narrative. It's daily now. <laughs> Dude, Chris Collins, nothing comes up. He he still might be weekly Chris. He's still weekly Chris. <laughs> I'm let it fucking go. These are the most expensive domain names ever purchased. <laughs> he didn't even say domain. Right. Like I am in Holland, Netherlands right now, and because uh, people a dark secret that most people don't realize is happening to them by influencers like Jojo Siwa. What? Is energy manipulation. Whether they realize I don't think he wants to go to the red light district. <laughs> but Holland? What? Where's Holland? I'm everywhere. I'm so Julia. I'm so weekly Chris. I'm so weekly Chris. <laughs> weekly Chris is 56 minutes away. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. <laughs> weekly Chris, if you see this. Weekly Chris, if you see this, holler at us. <laughs> 
but oh, not in Holland. <laughs> Please come to Amsterdam. I am in Holland, Netherlands right now. Guess, Guess who else, else is in the Netherlands right now? So yeah, it wasn't on my bingo cards to completely terrorize Weekly Chris in the Netherlands, but we did. That TikTok did pretty well. Like the engagement was there and he did not engage, not even a like, but he definitely saw that. So yeah, Weekly Chris thinks we're demonic, but what's new? Me and Weekly Chris just hand in hand walking down the red light. No. He has a girlfriend. <laughs> Walking down the red light district and he's a hundred meters in front of us with the restraining order that you gave us. What? What? Totally. Yeah, me too. next day we woke up and we were like we need to be cultured human beings there's actually a lot of interesting museums in amsterdam Ugh, the one thing though and frank this queen she's so relevant that um her museum is always sold out for months she's just that girl and Frank, you would have been a believer. Justin Bieber was in Amsterdam recently visiting oh, Anne Frank yeah. House, and he decided to enter something into the guest book. And here's what he wrote, and I quote, Anne was a great girl. Hopefully, she would have been a believer. No, well, we were so bummed because we really wanted to go to the Anne Frank House, duh. But we downloaded this app where like, you can get notifications if people are selling tickets. We turned on the notifications for Anne Frank, so we were just checking that all day, every day, just refreshing, hoping that someone was selling an Anne Frank ticket, but nobody was budging. She's just that girl. Like, and we just dilly-dally in Amsterdam being like, let's get an Anne Frank ticket. <laughs> let's get barricade to Anne. No, I'm kidding. We just thought that we could just stroll up and just walk in. No queen, you gotta get pre-sale. And nobody had a code for us. That was really devastating. But we ended up going to a lot of other different cool museums. And the first one that we went to was the Van Gogh Museum and it was absolutely wonderful. How did you like the museum? I really loved it, actually. I really enjoyed learning a lot about Van Gogh. Yeah. I'm feeling very inspired by Amsterdam's architecture, too. Oh, yeah. I kind of want to buy a history book. Oh, yes. So, I don't know where that's coming from. We got so inspired that we bought a little paint set. Yeah. I'm not going to really use it for anything inspiring. But we're gonna try to use it tonight or at any point of this trip. Yeah, no, we're going to. I'm gonna wish that I bought more. Yeah, because me with a beer in one hand and a paintbrush in the other, let's fucking rock. Sounds pretty exquisite to me. Yeah. All right, now we're just gonna get some food at these little stands here. And then we're going to this museum next. Woo! So in that place where all the museums are at, there's a bunch of food vendors. So we're like, let's get a hot dog. I always love a diggity dog. So we were really excited to try a hot dog and we were so freaking hungry. But God had other plans. I was just so excited to eat this hot dog post the Van Gogh Museum. This is the grossest thing I have ever put in my mouth and I put questionable items in my mouth before. Mm -hmm. And now Sarah has to try it. Like, 
That is a piece of plastic. Ew, ew, I can't. Do you see this? Dude, I need you to look at this from this point of view. Oh my god, dude. I'm gonna blow up. <laughs> the goosebumps on your heart. <laughs> like, oh, I almost threw. <laughs> what do we do? I don't know. I'm like scared. Do we try the other things? Is this like vegan? I think so. It might be. It's giving vegan. Yeah, it doesn't taste real. That is not, not meat. Oh my god, get away! We just got attacked. <laughs> what? They attacked your butt, Oh my god, guys. <laughs> oh shit. And they're eating my hot dog in the trash. Oh shit. <laughs> Why the hell would we go here? Oh my god, everybody move. Dude, my friends. <laughs> There's no way. Oh my god, I feel like I'm causing a scene. Get the fuck away! Oh my god, I'm feeling Get away from us. Dude, these hot dogs also look disgusting. I didn't even bother to put condiments on them because they look so bad. Let me try it. Let me try it. Oh my god. <laughs> Sit comfortably. We sit at the table with that pigeon. All right, now we're gonna try and order waffles. I really hope I'm not about to spit out a waffle with white chocolate flakes, but honestly, I'm feeling good. How can you go wrong with this? Mm. Oh my God, this is so much better.
gorgeous think pieces and me and Sarah can't get away from the AI wall. That's fucking crazy. Wait. <laughs> we have to show our favorite. Like there's Michael Jackson as a mountain multiple times in this. <laughs> where to find that Michael Jackson print. <laughs> RJ just, just said, where are you guys? Oh God. So yeah, after we spent two hours at the AI wall, I'm not even joking. We were there for a scary amount of time. So we were like, okay, our brains are literally gonna burst from all of this knowledge. Let's get a drink. We went to an Irish pub. I think that we were just still very gung-ho on Ireland, just reminiscing on the good times. That just felt correct, I guess. So we went to this Irish pub and then Caitlin got some shocking news from a special little somebody in her life who saw that she was in Amsterdam. I was flabbergasted. Her ex-boyfriend who fucked her up, physic, not physically actually, <laughs> He was not abusive physically, but emotionally, spiritually, mentally, all of the lees besides he didn't he didn't beat her. But he fucked her up. And his cousin lives in Amsterdam, so he hit Caitlin up and was like, oh my god, you're here? And she was like, you're here. And then he was like, you're here. And she was like, you're here? And he was like, you're here, and she was like, you're here. And that went on for 20 minutes. And then finally he was like, Let's meet up. Oh my god, I live just right down the street from where you are. Why was I just with my ex's cousin? Why, why, why was it so chill? Because I love his cousin. <laughs> I also love his cousin. His cousin just is the best. The best. The best. The best, the best of the rest of the rest. Let me beat my chest. Oh yeah, I must confess that I love his cousin. Cousin, 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 cousin. Dude, the theme of our trip, our European trip, has been cousins. Cousins, yeah, dude. You being in love with my cousin, me just. I am not. 
<laughs> because I almost made out with your cousin in a basement does not mean I'm in love with your cousin. You should make out with my ex's cousin. I'll make out with your ex's cousin. Harry, right, we're so lucky. <laughs> okay, but like, anyway. Can we even talk about this? I don't care. You don't give a fuck? Not really. Okay, guys. It doesn't really matter. All right. This you is the tea. This Caitlin's ex who traumatized her. Can I say that? Sure. Not Rory. Oh my God. We love Rory. We fucked her shit up mm -hmm. while we were not friends. Yeah. The During the seven months we were friends. When the podcast ended with her situation ship, let's call him Daniel. Daniel. She went on a vacation with Daniel and his family and she met his cousin. Let's call him DJ. I was gonna say DJ. They hit it off, became really good friends. So her and her situationship, Daniel, ended on terrible terms. Couldn't be worse, actually. The last time we ever talked was him sending me a text message. How do I go about this one? He sent a text message during our baby trip, which is our first or second time hanging out in seven months, that he specifically planned to try and ruin my Vegas trip because he was supposed to be in Vegas with me that weekend. Where was I going with this? <laughs> so he sends her this text in Vegas. This insane ass text. This he just tried to like blame everything on Caitlyn when he was just the worst. Yeah. Just not a good person. No. Should I not say that? I don't really care. He's probably a good person outside of relationships with yeah. people. <laughs> Long story short, good. that happened. Oh, I responded with a five page Google Doc. It would have won like a Nobel Peace Prize because it was so beautifully written. We should get that published. We should get it framed. Like, I'll put it on fucking Wattpad. Wattpad, no, no yeah, Wattpad. like honestly, if y'all like ever need to get back at somebody, I have the most intelligent, I'm not saying that it's I'm the most intelligent, no, it, it but it was. like, and that's why like, yeah, totally, at that time, 100%, but I think now that we're older, oh, I would never we just time don't. Like that. We just don't have the energy to oh, ex like, e like explain to these men what they did. So she did that. Haven't heard from him since. That I was... deleted it like two months after. I don't was... know if he ever clicked it though, because I would like go on the Google Doc sometimes and see if like there was any activity. And Does it show? I don't know if it shows that if someone has clicked it. But so he might have not ever read it. I don't know. That's fine. That happened. They haven't talked for three years. He gets a girlfriend. Totally. We don't even care. I have a boyfriend. <laughs> she has multiple boyfriends. <laughs> I'm in a strange relationship. Whatever. Relationships. Ships. Sure. We're moving and grooving. I'm having a fucking blast. She's young. She's crazy. Ew, my spray tan looks fucking awful. So... <laughs> <laughs> 13 minutes later, what the fuck are we even talking about? Like, wait, what am I talking about? Oh, we were okay. going to explain why my ex is no, okay, but we're landing the plane. No, it's okay. funny. Okay. I love being in the sky. I do too. We land in Amsterdam. We're like, let's fucking get it. Not really though, because we slept for the first 24 hours we were here. How else are you gonna cope with this other than pursuing stand up comedy? I and know. I would never just abandon you. I know. You have some abandonment wounds. Oh, yeah. Yeah, like, I do. Truly. No, I do. Oh, they're so bad. If I was running around the house trying to find her and she was on the fucking rooftop. First off, the fact that you don't make me cry that often is awesome. Thank you for that. Well, he makes you cry, but not as often anymore. Yeah, because I want to start studying architecture. Crazy. I want to, and then we get a DM from DJ who lives in Amsterdam, and we didn't know that. I had no fucking idea. He has no idea the beef between Caitlyn and Daniel. Yeah, I don't think he does. So we met up. So landing the plane, we just met up with DJ. 
DJ. It was so chill. He like lives here. We had such a great time. We didn't mention Daniel once until this thing. Yeah. And then DJ took a picture of Caitlyn and sent it to Daniel. We didn't even ask him to do no, that. No, he just did that. He was like, oh. I gotta tell him. He doesn't know I'm with you. I'm like, okay. I had to pee. So yeah, we were completely hammered. <laughs> Don't know why. There was no point. It was like 3, 4 p.m. What? So we just went back to the hotel room just to like chill, regroup. And then this girl messages Caitlin and she was like, hey queens, uh, do you guys have another destination for your European trip? And we were like, yeah, girl, we're going to Ibiza. And she was like, oh my God. Her and her family have a house in this town in Spain on this little island. And she was like, you guys can come through. You can have the whole house to yourself. Matter of fact, you can have the whole island to yourself. <laughs> this island was so tiny. And she was like, yeah, we have a job. She like sent pictures and shit. Like it was legit too. So since we didn't have plans for after Ibiza, we were just gonna go back to the States. We were like, that, that sounds pretty intriguing, queen. So we were trying to do the math and do the logistics. swim away. <laughs> a three minute tugboat. Dude, the way that we've been wait I made a joke about Florence earlier, ending up in Florence, Italy. Like I made that joke three hours ago. Like we've been waiting for Italy to just make yeah, it's like just even for like two days. Oh that's what I mean. Just staying in that girl's house. Like please. Oh I love Christine and the Queens. Mm. <gasps> it's open all next weekend. <laughs> Wait, like Even Friday the 21st. Mm -hmm. If we wanted to. Tell her that. Let me look up how the fuck you get there first. Yeah. What's her name? Carla. Shout out Carla. We might be staying here. <laughs> in what is it called sardinia sardinia italy it's like what the hell is sardinia <laughs> sardine city yo what's up sardines what's up sardines sardine nation like do we have to get a boat like what's the vibe a ferry I, that's what i'm trying to look up us on jet skis jet skiing to sardinia <laughs> that's poetic <laughs> She just said there's an airport there. <laughs> so after we debated on renting jet skis to this private island, we took a nap because once we were getting up, we were hitting up the red light, baby. <laughs> I'm about to lose my red light district virginity. Woo! I have been anticipating this moment for a really long time. I am nervous, but I'm so excited. Oh, it's happening. I wanna see some freaky shit. If you guys don't know, it's basically this really long street in Amsterdam and the entire street on both sides are just covered in windows with really hot girls, like really, really hot girls. And they're like naked in the window and they're like, butterflies in your stomach and you're like oh my god I am kind of willing to drop a bag to make out with this hot woman I could be like oh this could be the start of our love story but also 
this is their job and I don't mean shit. I'm just another bag of flesh to them with money and a dream. Also, there's a bunch of sex shows. Woo, 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 woo. And I was so excited to take Caitlin to these sex shows because they're just such a treat. And obviously you can't record inside of these sex shows because it's porn on stage. The first sex show that we went to was called Casa Rosso. That shit is popping. Like that's one of the main ones that you go to when you're in the red light. Pretty sure that was the one that I went to in 2017, but I don't know, I was blacked out. But yeah, we get there, we wait in line. There was a long line. And a lot of tourists were in line. They were like really hyped to see the show. They've never been to Amsterdam before. They were like, what is this? Oh, are they gonna show their holes? We're like, yeah, it's like sex. And they're like, wait, no, but like, they're actual holes. <laughs> We're like, yeah, it's, it's like, they're, ha they're having, it's a sex show. It says it. On the sign, it says live sex. So, and they're like, no, but there's like no way. There's like no way though. You're telling me insertion is gonna happen. We're like, yeah, scary. And he was alone too. Oh my God, I'm not even joking. It was this guy who was older. He was behind us in line and he was alone. And he was trying to tag along with me and Caitlin. And we were just trying to like, ha, ah, like be polite and then just kind of move our bodies so he would stop talking to us. But he just kept talking being like, yeah, no way, but like what? This is crazy. And we're like, hey Gary, why are you alone? I mean, we're not judging. And he was like, well, I was with my friends, but they weren't down. They weren't down. Okay, you're not sitting with us, Gary. I. It felt like there was like a new kid at school and he was just trying to like feel the vibes out. So who's all, fr who's all friends with who? Like trying to hang out with us and you're just like, dude, get out of my face, loser. Loser. Do you even know what sex is, loser? Virgin, loser? Can someone get this virgin out of here? <laughs> loser. Virgin. Virgin. Loser. Loser. Virgin over here. Loser. 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 No, but yeah, he was way too like geeked and gagged and like jazzed. Um, so we were like just trying to avoid him. He was like nice, but it's just like, dude, you're old and kind of scaring us. We're in a foreign country at a sex show. Can't wait for most scary. It's girls night. So we finally get into the show and this show, it's like the same 20 acts on loop. It's like a 24 hour show that they do all day and all night. And the show is basically like an hour and a half to two hours long. And then once the two hours is done, they just start the show over and over and over again. So basically the people in the crowd, once the act that they saw for the first time that they got in there, once that they come back on stage, then they start to leave and then pe more people can just sit, correct? So we we got in there and there were only seats in the back and I was kind of pissed off. I didn't have my glasses with me, couldn't see shit. No holes, no fine lines or wrinkles, no sweat, no veins, couldn't see anything. And I was kind of annoyed because I'm like, how the, like, what the I didn't realize that it was on loop and people were like coming in and out and shit. So when people started to get up in front of us, Oh, we were like, <laughs> we were like shoulder checking people in the aisle to get closer. <laughs> like every five minutes when the row in front of us would get up to leave, we would just whoop, get right in there. Eventually we just kept scheming and scheming and creeping and creeping and creeping and creeping and we got to the front row, baby. But we saw it all in HD. They were thrusting. They were busting. Actually, <laughs> the first couple that we got to see up close, we felt kind of strange watching it because this couple did not look like they wanted to be there. There was no chemistry. There were no vibes, not a lot of noise either. Like there was music playing obviously because they're, they're not fucking to silence. That would be insane. It was like doggy style. He was behind and he's just like, like 
could have not been more bored. Um, she's like, oh my God, I have to do this every hour and a half. So that was just kind of a strange vibe because then it kind of took us out of the experience and we're like, oh, this is like a job. Do they hate this? Are they okay? What's their home life like? We're like, oh shit. But then when they were acting like they were enjoying, not this couple, but different couples and different individuals, when they were acting like they were enjoying it, it took, a, it plugged us back in. We were like, woo, fun, fun, fun. Um, but yeah, it was just that one couple where we were having like an existential crisis. We're like, should we leave? Like, once they got off the stage, it was like a breath of fresh air. Like, we could breathe again, you know? The guilt washed over us like a Xanax. Then they played some like ludicrous or some shit. We're like, yes. And there was this one girl, oh my god. She was on stage, she was so hot. And we were in the front row, correct? So like, we're looking pretty much up their genitals at this point. I see everything. But she was cute and she was giving me some eyes and I was like, yeah. A lot of the people in the crowd were a lot of just horny guys, horny bros, brothers on like a bachelor trip or like boys night out. Lots of clumps of bros and brothers. Just a lot of creepy energy being exuded from the crowd to the stage. You know what I'm saying? So like me and Caitlin wanted to be the girlies in the front row being like, yes, queen. You know? <laughs> Just so they didn't have to see these sticky men be insane, you know? They could see some girls in the front being like, woo, 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 woo. Work it, twerk it. <laughs> so we were hyping them up and this one cutie pie who was like looking at me when I was like, woo. She looked at me and then she was like. hard eye contact with me and I can't break away like where am I gonna look you know she is the center of my vision like there's no space to look her hole is in my direct line of sight so I'm making eye contact with her hole and she reaches in her hole and she's just looking at me pulling pulling this ribbon she's looking at me and I'm like yeah Thinking it's gonna stop, but it just doesn't stop. She keeps going. And it was honestly very impressive. I was just in shock, honestly. I was like, what is the science behind that? How did she shut? Like, that's that was a lot of ribbon. It was so impressive. I was just like, wow, queen, can we talk after? I just genuinely want to know how you did that. She's still holding eye contact with me, and she throws it at me. And you know, me being a supportive girly pop, I'm like, yes! And mind you, it's still inside of her, okay? And I'm holding on to it, and I'm just like, Wee! you know, like, ew, kind of gross, but like, what a supportive. But I guess she was speaking to me in, a, what, what is it, Dutch? She was speaking to me in Dutch, being like, in Dutch, but I didn't, I didn't know what she was saying, and it was also really loud in there. So I was just like, Wee! what? What is she saying? Pull it! Just pull it! Huh? What? what is she saying? She was getting like annoyed with me. And I was like, wait, whoa, where did this switch up come from? We just had a very intense and intimate moment. And now you're like mad at me. Like, what did I do? Why are you mad at me? Like, why are you mad at me? You just threw a ribbon that was in your hole in my face like what do you want me to do right now so after she was yelling at me to pull it and i didn't get the memo she like pulls it and she was like pull it i wanted you to pull it and i was like oh so sorry and she like literally rolled her eyes and walked to the other side of the stage and did it to the other person on the other side of the stage and then they pulled it i didn't know that she was wanting me to like keep pulling so yeah, Queen, if you're watching this, I'm so sorry. I did not know what you meant, but now that I know what you meant, I totally would have been on that vibe. Totally would have been right there with you, girl. Like, I can totally get there next time. Just please give me a chance. You know, like, you counted on me to deliver, and I didn't. I didn't. And the other bitch on the other side did. So. That was really hard to watch. Because when the other bitch was, like, pulling it, she was like, Whoa! 
on stage like having fun and not yelling at her and I was like damn I just ruined that connection <sighs> and she was like the cutest one anyway yeah that really pissed me off but yeah the rest of the girlies like the solo acts that were on stage not the ones that were fucking but like the solo queens they were so appreciative of me and Caitlyn in the front row just cheering them on like you could just tell they were just making eye contact with us and just being like <laughs> Cool, like some feminine energy in the building. Holy God. Wow, what a relief. Some like divine, feminine, maternal, empathetic vibes in the building. Like it's not just sticky, wiggy men. Um, but yeah, that was so fun. And Caitlin had a blast and it was really fun to experience that with her. It almost felt like I was at Disneyland with my child and watching them experience Disneyland for the first time. It was just so fun to watch it through Caitlin's eyes. But yeah, it was already pretty late and we needed to go to bed kind of early-ish because we wanted a full day tomorrow. We didn't want to get way too turnt this night because as you guys know, my hangovers are really intense. It sucks. We got a ride with some man on a bike and he didn't charge us. All he wanted was a piece of pizza. Cause we had a box of pizza. I'm just living that Mexican. So we wake up the next morning and we have to check out of our hotel. But Caitlin is just She's always one step ahead. She already has the next hotel booked for us. She used her credit card points to book this hotel. God bless. And thankfully this hotel was just right down the street from the one that we were currently staying at. So it was just an easy commute, all right? And like I said, the location that we were in already was prime. It was perfect. It was where everything was at. So we wanted to stay kind of in that area, you know? We get to this hotel and we walk in and immediately, the vibe is off. Cause we walk in and there's just like a restaurant and it's dimly lit, it's very fancy. And I was like, are we, are we in the right place? She's like, no, yeah, this is, this is the hotel. I was like, okay. So she goes to check in and the lady at the front desk was like, you're crazy. Basically, there were two hotels named the same thing. So we just went to the wrong location. The actual hotel that Caitlin booked was kind of far away. We were like, oh fuck, like that sucks. We tried to get a room at that hotel, but they were like, no, it's fully booked. And we were like, cool. So we were like, uh, and we're just sitting on the side of the street in Amsterdam, just like, oh my God, but we really want to stay in this area. And so then I was just like, you know what, Caitlin, let me just get out my phone. Let me see if I can find like a good deal for something close. And then maybe you can like cancel your reservation at the other place. So me thinking that I'm her, I get on my phone, didn't really do any research. I was just desperate to lay down. I just needed to lay down somewhere ASAP. And I found one. And just silently next to Caitlin, I just beep, beep, boop, 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 boop. Hey girl, I got us. Don't worry about it. You're welcome, I got it. I know what I'm doing. I've been here before, <laughs> remember? It's almost like you don't remember that I've been here before. <laughs> I kind of know what I'm doing. So she was like, okay, cool, hell yeah, let's do it. So we're walking down the street. We both have two giant luggages with us. The big ones, the big boys. We both have two of them. Plus we both have a duffel bag as well and a backpack. So we have so much luggage with us. Walking down the street, we're like, oh my God, thank God this place is right down the street. We can check in and just be horizontal for a second. Like, oh my God, I cannot wait to close my eyes. We're walking down the street and um, I'm looking at my maps and it just doesn't look correct because it's just like a bunch of restaurants in this alleyway. And I'm looking and I'm like, it's, it says the hotel is right here. And she was like, what? That can't be right. She like grabs the phone. She's like, no, it, it says that that's it. And I was like, I know. What? It's just like these two wooden doors that's apparently the hotel. When I opened that wooden door to get inside of the hotel, 
Hey, it's me. I am so sorry to do this, but I have to stop it here because if I didn't, this would be a two hour long video. So I'm gonna post the next part in like a week. It's already pretty much done just because I just split this one in half. So yeah, the next part, it just gets, it gets crazier. The next part is very fun. So stick around for that. I hope you enjoyed. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, comment your favorite part and subscribe if you haven't already so you don't miss part two and you don't miss Ibiza because that one's after part two. We've got a crazy lineup, y'all. It's the European Marathon. All right, love you guys so much. Mm -hmm.